on the scene, dripped in Celine, whole crew shining, call me Mr. Clean, came in from the back, walk right to the front, dancing to the music, smoking on the got the women smiling, punk grilling me, looking all dusty, black force energy, I don't even drink, but the team pop bottles, not here for the beef, but the Glock holes hollows, think I'm cocky, but I think I'm worse, in this flexing, like a Mr. Universe. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros, would a second loss to Zane be the end of Joyce's run as a serious title contender? So Joe Joyce is going to have his rematch. And we remember what happened in their first fight when Joe Joyce took the L to Zane. The question we're asking is, if he loses again, is his chances at becoming heavyweight champion over? And I'm turning it over to Trill Dollar Bill. Uh, the whole, the whole, nah, I mean, losses, losses happen in boxing, man. Like, my, my fighters that I love got losses. You know what I'm saying? There's only one of my fighters that's undefeated, you know, Floyd. But all my other, like, Fernando Vargas got losses. You know what I'm saying? Like, who else got losses? All my guys. Um, um, Morales got losses. Barrera got losses. Chavez got losses. You know, yeah, I got a lot of Mexican fighters that I like. Um, look, a lot of my favorite fighters got losses. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that don't mean that it's the end of you. It's, it's, it's how you perform in those fights and the damage that you take, you know? Um, juggernaut, that whole aura of you know him being able to take all these punches and stuff now that that aura is broken you know a little mm -hmm. bit you know but um i don't think that this will hurt him um i'm actually tell you the truth i just think that zane got his number you know like like for example like sugar shane mosley was a great fighter i just felt Ver vernon forrest had his number he beat him twice and you're gonna say that sugar shane mosley is not that dude, because he lost to Vernon Forrest twice? Nah. Vernon Forrest just had his number. You know, and after the first fight, after I seen the first fight, I was like, oh, Vernon Forrest got an any proof he had his number in the second fight. He just had his number. So I think he's still going to want to do great things like the great Sugar Shane went on to do big things. You know, but I just think that the homie Zang, he got his number. All right. G? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I think if if he takes another loss like he did the first go round with Zang, it's over for him because of his age. You know, oh, I agree with Trill that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I didn't factor in his age. Yeah, like, you know, normally if he was a younger gentleman, like, yeah, you could bounce back and it's not over for him. But because he's so old, he's like literally like the, the, the oldest guy in the division. You know what I mean? So. Watch your mouth. He yeah. is. No, he's like, not. I, I, yo, he's older than Wilder, bro. You know yeah, who's, feel, who's, older, who's older? Who's older than him? No, who's older than Joyce? Listen, no, stop playing. Why before, I, no, I just I, I get what you're saying, G. But I just want to tell you, before before this Zing fight, he was the older but the fresher out of all those guys that you mentioned. Yeah. He was the older, but he was the fresher. Like, he ain't been in war. Oh, like, I know who's older. Who? Zing. Zang's older. Oh shoot. Zang's 40. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm a guy's name, yo. But yo, the but the but pretty much it, it's difficult. Zang was looking 20 out there. Oh, I know who else is older. Louise Ortiz. Yeah, we sitting here, yeah, Kevin. Yeah, Louise Ortiz is the oldest man in the game. Guys, what are we talking about here? Yeah, Big up, nice one, G. Nice one, G. <laughs> man is Best oh, we got a couple of old heads. We still got a couple of old heads in, in the ring. But <laughs> the thing is with Joyce, it's a, in addition to his age, he's limited in, in, in a lot of ways. So think about it. If you was a promoter, right? Like, I'm being real, man. Zang is... All right, Zang punches hard, but when you look at Zang, you don't go, he's a world beater. You know what I mean? You go, like... Yeah, he deserves to be in like the top 15, but you don't see Zhang as a champion. You get what I'm saying? Like he's good work for champions.
but we don't see him as the champion himself. So if George can't get past Zang, it, it, it says a lot of things, man. It's like, because we know Joyce is limited with a lot of uh, his speed is limiting. You know, in that Zang fight, he got punched a lot in the face. So if that same thing happens a second time and he gets knocked out or TKO or what have you, you know, if I was a promoter and I was doing and I and Joyce is my client, right? I'm gonna be like, eh, I don't really know if I want to invest in you anymore. I'll be thinking you're kind of over the hill. Maybe I should start looking at other acts, you know. So he definitely needs this win, you know. Um, because and not to mention, if if he loses in the rematch, his 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 mandatory slot is gone, you know. So he's gonna have to wait. I don't know how long he'll have to wait to uh, get another opportunity at the title. He may never get a title opportunity after this because I don't think people are going to be invested in him anymore, you know. So, yeah, I, I think he this is a do or die situation for him. He has to win, and he has to win in spectacular fashion. But I will say this: in the first fight, I don't believe he really took the fight serious. I think he's coming off of a high of beating Parker. And he's like, yo, these dude, I could take all of these punches. It's nothing. So when he fought Zhang, literally no defense. Just I'm taking punches to the face. And he's realizing like, oh, snap, this dude kind of punches hard. So I just have to imagine in the rematch, he's going to be prepared. He's going to have his hands up. He's going to be moving more. And he's going to be more strategic when he goes up against a Zhang. So I, I, I think this is a do or die situation. So. My man just got to pull out the the victory. That's simple as that. All right, TBE. I disagree wholeheartedly with G. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, I, yeah, pack it up. <laughs> it's just, it's like a slow man losing to an old man for the second time is going to be like. The first time I had like, a slow man was old man. This dude is you know, wild as son. So how, how do you disagree with me when we're saying the same thing? And you say, uh, you right. You he right. just wanted to disagree, G. No, he disagreed because he disagreed, G. Yeah, he disagrees to disagree. I'm used to it. He disagreed to disagree. Yo, Joyce, you, you, I don't think he could do anything. Joyce is Joyce. He's slow. He's, he's like, I've, I've been. Like he surprised me a lot, and if he surprised me in the rematch, I'll be, I'll be. How did Zang lose to this man? Because Zang got his nut. Like Joyce is, I don't know. He just like this is how he throws his punches. His hands is not here. He's not. He's not like this. It's like he throws his. He throws his jab like it's like a chicken wing, but it's it wasn't effective against Zang. Like it's literally like it's not a straight jab. His thing is like. The views and opinions of Ned the TVE do not Yo, reflect the bar to as a whole and all the other faces Joyce. you see on the screen. I respect Joyce. I like I, 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 I he made me a believer. But he's like G me. when he talk about Joseph Parker now. He deceived me. <laughs> and I, he is what I thought he was. Joe Joyce. So uh, we Joe Joyce is slow, Joyce. That's it. Like he I don't know what he could do. Like Zane. If Zane comes in here and loses to this man, it's because he was he, he was partying, or it was a layover, or you know what what is it? Um, what's that? Um, what they call it when uh when you fly on a plane, and he he's come from China to London, jet lag, jet lag. He's suffering from jet lag or something. It's just like how do you lose to this dude? Like Joe Joyce is so slow. Like I'm like I'm just watching fighters like get get. Demolished by him, I'm like, yo, how does this happen? But Zang, you did it, and I think Zang will do it again. There's, and Joe Joyce, I'd say you had a great run, right off. Don't become a gay. <laughs> go off on a high note, a good loss, and then call it a career. You feel me? Yo, I don't. Know, I, I think I disagree with G too. No, so I agree with G. Um, I, <laughs> I actually agree with G. I think. Joe Joyce was coming off the biggest win of his career, and he finally slipped up and allowed himself to kind of like feel himself a little bit. Like, 
yeah, I'm here, I've arrived. And he was starting to get that respect because I was starting to see him as, yo, I don't think I would want to fight this dude if I had, you know, if I was Usyk and if I was Fury because he was showing uh, a lot. And I know that Ned likes to talk about how slow he is. It's documented that he's slow, but he lands. He has good timing, and he's a very good athlete. But the thing about Joe Joyce is he normally, uh, his opponents get tired. He forces them to work at a pace where they eventually run out of gas. And once they run out of gas and they slow down, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they get tired from tagging on him, for hitting him, you know what I'm saying? Because he can take it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that was, was so, I don't know. I don't know how, yeah, I don't know how long uh, people have been watching Boxing Bros, but uh, we, we talk about this probably a few times, but. The Jason. When, 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 huh? The Jason movie. Oh, yeah, the Jason movie. That's how he fights. Well, I was going, actually, that's how I used to beat Trill in this game, Fight Night. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, we used to we used to do it like in real life. We would have champions in each weight classes on the game, and like I was the champion in the light heavyweight. Keep, uh, nigga, just keep it a hundred. <laughs> keep it a hundred. I was holding it down. I wanted that belt. That was the only belt I couldn't get. You know what I'm saying? So Trill Trill had all the belts. Right. <laughs> this is what like all like everyone in our circle. Trill would be playing and Trill would be talking trash. He would be beating everyone. And I couldn't beat Trill in any other division except light heavyweight because I would get left hook Lacey because we had our fighters too, right? You pick your fighters. Left hook Lacey was slow as hell, like slow, so slow. And Trill would get like James Roy. Tony. I had Roy. Roy. He would get these guys, right? And Trill, yo, I was with ten rounds. Whooping I was, Lacey, ten rounds straight. Whooping I was doing Lacey. all kinds, of spin around, Michael yeah. Jackson moves. Yeah, listen, <laughs> it would be the scorecards would be. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I would lose every round, and then in the eleventh and twelve, I will always knock out Trill with Lacey because they gave Lacey like a hundred and chin. And his and his uh, speed was like a sixty. So once Roy and James Tony and all the fighters started slowing down, I would be able to catch Trill, and he would be tired from all the. <laughs> the fighter would be tired. It wouldn't even let my man get up. You know how you drop somebody to let you get up yeah. one time. <laughs> he could never get up. Once I dropped him, he could never get up. <laughs> I remember one time I got to the twelfth round, bro. Twelfth round. It was like a minute left. I'm trying to run around the ring as much as I could. <laughs> he got caught. They wouldn't even let me get up. I would have won the fight. I would have won the fight if they let me get up. They didn't let me get up. Oh, Yo, I swear, Jeff Lacey was the cheat code in that game, bro. It was crazy. Yo, I still remember, too, the first time I picked left hook Lacey, Trill was talking gorilla mess. Like, oh, you going to pick this bum? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yo, I was doing this. I had the one controller. I was like this. Look, one hand. One hand. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I say all I have to say, that's what J that's what uh Joe Joyce remind me of. Like that video game when I would pick Jeff Lacey and just that's how I would win with Jeff Lacey. I would let my opponents get tired from like punching and I would I would force them to have to throw punches because I would get in there. I, I would stay in the distance where if they didn't throw punches, I can hit them. So they would have to throw punches, and I would I would force the pace to make their stamina drain. And then once they slow down to where with Lacey's slow speed can tag them, that's when I would go for the knockout. And that's what Joe Joyce basically does. He forces his fighters to fight at a pace his opponents to fight at a pace where they're going to run out of gas and then he tags them later. That's why if you saw when he knocked out Joseph Parker with that left hook, Joseph gave it all he had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Joseph was like, he's not a man, he's a machine. And then he got knocked <laughs> out like, you know. <laughs> um, so you're right, Joe, the aura of invincibility and this indestructible, if he comes back in this fight and he shows that he could take the punishment still, and his face holds up. 
I think he has a good chance of beating uh, Zhang. I thought he was coming on strong. And we're going to give our predictions uh, in the next segment. But to me, if he loses, he is finished for the reasons you pointed out, G. Uh, like He is up there in age. Uh, that He already had the mandatory slot. He didn't even need to take the fight with, with Zhang. But he took it because he wanted to stay active. He wanted to make some bread. And let's be honest, maybe perhaps they thought he was a cherry. Uh, because he didn't look too good in, in, in his last few outings. But Zhang showed up, and he put in that work. And so stay tuned for the next segment where we give you our predictions. But if he does lose, I think it's going to be tough for him to be taken seriously as a title contender again. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major st- uh, streaming services. Excuse me. We are the Boxing Brothers. Yo, man, man, why you try to set G up, man? G set himself. No, and that's not even smooth with it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not smooth. G set himself up. Yo. I had to put it out there, yo, because it's war, yo. You want? You came against Ukraine. Ukrainian soup turned Ukrainian beef, yo. Stop playing. Pause, man. That's <laughs> uh, let's look it. <laughs> that's lucky that wasn't on air. Oh, that sounded crazy. You know what I'm saying? I feel it in my soul. Can you feel Gotta me? Get my money right. Came so cold in my cell, Lord, I'm lonely. Stay tight, bro. Your knife's in the fist.